A very difficult point would be uh, the information. Um, because in China, the companies are not used to disclose much of their real uh, statistics. And um, the, the, there is n no mentality of transparency. So companies that want to do uh, uh, mergers and acquisitions in China, they need to um, send a team there and collect their information themselves and they have to talk to government officials, business partners and uh, all uh, sta stakeholders um, to make a picture of uh, uh, their own. It's very, very important to hire a good Chinese uh, law firm uh, that uh, networks well with the MOFCOM authority. Uh, the drivers will be um, uh, the Chinese private companies looking to expand their market and uh, looking to acquire technology uh, in Europe. And the, uh, the thing is that the Chinese do not want to pay too much for their targets, uh, for their acquisitions. So um, this, this is really a, a dilemma. And I think there the Chinese uh, buyers, they still have to learn a lot to be successful. Actually, in a small scale, in a particular uh, branch, uh, it did happen. And it again um, is an, an evidence for such kind of uh, uh, Chinese inclination yeah, just to follow the, the others. Uh, and it is, it is the solar uh, branch. After uh, Suntech, a very large Chinese um, solar company settled down in Schaffhausen in, uh, near Zurich, near uh, the German border. Uh, three or four or five other solar companies followed them to Switzerland. Well, solar deals, it's a big pity. Um, uh, because I think that, that was beginning of 2012, uh, suddenly the market um, broke down. So many, including Suntech, many companies, including Suntech, they um, uh, went, went um, bankrupt. And uh, some of those Chinese solar companies just settled down in Switzerland, had to shut down as well.